What's happening troops? Broken Omega here and today I am playing Quantum Break. Brand new game that has just come out for Windows 10 and Xbox One. So what are my first impressions of this game? Well, it's beautifully mastered and that certainly comes from the heart. It's a great style of gameplay which you don't see from other time-based games. Not only that, but the combination of first-person shooter makes it an outstanding game. So without further ado, let's jump in to the game itself. As you can see on the screen, actions have consequences, which isn't new, it's been seen in Until Dawn and also in The Wolf Among Us. Hey, let's give this driver, right. well, a whole lot no of nothing. Problem. But hey, he seems grateful. First thing I've noticed though, is a lot of find this thing. Ooh, found something. Whoa. But in quantum, they're known as narrative Sorry. objects. Talkie talkie. Do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Who is Candy? It's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. Ah, a drink Some object. Protest. Well, that's uh, my kind of protest. Found another. <laughs> that's vaguely ominous. Protests seem like a lost cause. But also, at the start of the game, students. seems to be a lot of running around. A lot of running around. Like, everywhere. But once you get past the initial hump, and finding more things, it gets a bit better. All right, I gotta meet Honestly, friend, it does. But, um, keep fighting. All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Protest over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. For that safety whistle. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading now, the cutscenes, on the other hand, pressure. are astounding. Need a friend. They're beautiful help and crisp. Occasionally, lip sync will fall out. Jack, but otherwise, it's great. Hey, little finger. The, the esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. In my personal opinion, they have picked ideal Jeez. voice actors for this Starting game. And back. as you can tell by the yeah, characters in the game, they are based off their real Come life on. counterparts. And so far, apart from the lip sync, I've only found this issue with the sending machine Will to consult where the graphics him. drop out. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Uh why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. 20 minutes later. Unfortunately, the characters themselves do like to talk and talk and talk. So to help out, I've cut out quite a lot of the nice talky talky bit and the backwards walky walky bit too. So I've got down to the nitty gritty and the important bit. So sit back and prepare yourself, guys. Here comes the good stuff.
What have we done? Now the fighting system itself is really quite fun, however the cover system isn't too great. As you can see, you'd think that it would snap to the object itself, however that's not the case. It actually took me quite a while to work out how the cover works, and it literally is. Standing next to it will allow you to pop up and pop down with a bit more ease, however moving from cover to cover can be a lot harder. Also, red things don't necessarily explode either. Now, the main issue I found during the shooting part of the game were the fact of the aim assist. Now, aim assist sometimes helps you, and it does sometimes in this game too. However, a lot of the time it can be a severe annoyance, where it doesn't lock onto an enemy when you expect it to. Are you okay? The jumping for the game as well isn't so fluent. It's not uh, the parkour from Assassin's spots. Creed, for example. Never had an army of pro or maybe it is a little bit. The cover system itself doesn't work not near again. small walls either. For example, now I'm not exactly covered. Come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? Combine that issue with the uh, advanced AI's intelligence, exactly where you are, doesn't really help with this either. You tell me. Hey, come on, it's my fault. Ah. Circle around. What I do really enjoy, though, is the slow motion kills on the last enemy. That way, you know you've cleared the area of any other enemies. Did you hear that? As far as I can tell, you can have three weapons too. A main, a secondary, and a sidearm. Well? Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Steiner. She was right. One of my favourite things was running around stealing people's weapons whilst the game was frozen. I mean, could you imagine the looks on these enemies' faces? Knowing that their guns just disappeared from nowhere. You don't want to be here when you yoink. Where's your car? Yoink, yoink, yoink. None for you. Run, 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 run. Yoink! I met this girl on my way here. What are you doing? I'm gonna get her moving. She's not in freezing. One of my favourite easter eggs is the Alan Wake principle, which is up in the lecture hall. I mean, were the students learning this, or is it just because the free copy of Alan Wake with the Xbox One pre-order? powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. I really enjoy using time vision. It feels very Assassin's Creed-like, but it is beautiful to be able to see enemies through walls. It really helps out in the firefight.
supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. Who do you think you are? different parking lots and you just have to... All right, where's your car, Will? Time Echoes are a beautiful little touch to the game as well. I could see They're very much the like the Echoes from Tom Clancy's Will, The Division. The However, these seat. ones actually move as well. I hope to God I'm not too late. Too late. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, time stop. I don't know how many times Fuck. this has helped save my I'm bacon. It is a great maneuver to have. Fast. Stopping people in their tracks and literally stopping time around them. Unfortunately, when I first started off, I didn't know when the enemy was actually dead after shooting them. But what I've been able to gather, when the enemy turns orange in the frozen time, that's when you've changed the time itself, and the enemy is dead. Time dodge is a cool little trick to have. Dodging out faster than the enemy can see you, it can get you out of those really sticky situations. Focus time, yet again, can really help in those nasty situations, especially when you are outnumbered and need to thin the enemy down. As you can see, being out in the open isn't the wisest of moves, and the game tries to emphasize on you using cover to help you out, not just relying on your time ability. Well, The game itself uses yellow to identify the parkour parts. I'm assuming that later on, they might even require to use your time abilities, kind of like in-game puzzles. The final ability I've found so far is 
the time shield where it seems to deflect any bullets that are coming towards you which is a brilliant last resort use of your time ability Shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Yeah. I'd really appreciate yes. it. And until next time, see you around.